G'day guys, Craig here. Well, it's product review time, and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. Weight Watchers Chili Con Carne. No, not the carne that operates the right at your local show. This is Chili Con Carne. Carne, it's Spanish for meat. So let's review this product to see if it's worth buying, or if it's one of those products you want to keep pushing your trolley right past because it tastes like rubbish. Now, Weight Watchers is supposed to be one of those really healthy sorts of foods. You're supposed to eat it if you're really watching your weight and it's supposed to be super healthy for you. But is it really? Well, let's find out by checking out the ingredients, okay? Ingredients, tomato and chili minced beef, 64%. Tomatoes, 25%. Minced beef, 13%. Hang on, it just said it's 64% and now it says it's 13%. Make up your mind, cobber. Onion, red capsicum, corn, 3.1%. Then it's got sugars, garlic paste, hydro something, vegetable something. Canola oil, spice, mineral salt, long grain rice, 30%. And kidney beans, 6%. This meal contains a total of 42% vegetables. All right, well, it's 42% vegetables, 30% rice and 13% beef. Well, that sounds all right. Well, let's check out how nutritional this is. Okay. K per serving, 339 calories, which is 1,420 kilojoules. That equates to about one sixth or seventh of your daily food intake. That's not too bad. 4.5% protein, 1.9% fat. It's 16% carbs, which 3.2 grams of it is sugar. We got a little bit of fiber there and a little bit of salt as well. Well, that seems like quite a lot of sugar for me in a, in a meal like this, 3.2%. It's 330 grams, which means about 10 grams of this is sugar. That's not very healthy. Maybe they should change it from Weight Watchers to Weight Gainers. With that much sugar, if anything, you're going to be watching the weight go on. And just check on the back where this is made. Made in New Zealand from local and imported ingredients. Oh, cuz bro, that's awesome, hey Gil. So if it's made in New Zealand from local and imported ingredients, maybe half those ingredients are from Australia. <laughs> well, how about we unpackage it and suss out what it looks like out of the packet. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of that. Not exactly the same as what's on the front here, is it? Now this is microwavable and convection ovenable. I'm gonna microwave this today, so let's figure out how to do that. All right. Remove frozen meal from cardboard pack. No worries. Microwave meal on high, 100% power for four minutes. Carefully peel off protective film and stir. Place film back over the meal and heat for a further three minutes or until thoroughly heated. Remove from microwave, allow stand for two minutes, carefully peel off predictive film and serve. Well, that doesn't sound too hard, so let's do that. All right. Four minutes. All right, well, the four minutes is up. Now it's time to give this a stir. You are a carny, you've got a bongo brain. You look like baby nappy. No, not that sort of stir. One of these stirs. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Does that look like 30% rice to you? It does look like 3.1% corn though, because, well, there's one, two. Well, where's the rest of it? On the front here, it's got like 18% corn. Ah, that's false advertising. Ah. Anyway, back in the nuka for a further three minutes. Well, here we go. This is the end product. The 13% meat, well, I believe that because I can't even see any of it. And the 6% kidney beans, well, I can't even see any. Where are they? Maybe they're all minced up and mushed up or something. There's actually more corn than kidney beans and there's supposed to be twice as much kidney beans and there is corn. Well, there you go, my Weight Watching friends. The old chili con carne, let's give it a go. Mm. Oh, wow. That's got a mouthful of the uh, the chili in it and it's really kind of warm. It's hit the back of the top of my mouth here and it's really warming it up. That's what she said. It's actually quite spicy and really nice. Well, you can really taste the 10 grams of sugar in this. It's kind of sweet and well, 
I don't know why they would have to put it in there because it doesn't need it. The flavours on its own would have been really good. Anyway, let's try with the rice. It's actually not too bad. I'm actually quite enjoying this. I'm really enjoying the spiciness of it. It is kind of spicy. The flavours of it are really quite nice. And all in all, it, it tastes pretty good. Now this normally retails for about five bucks 80, but you can always pick it up on half price special. So would I buy this again? Yeah, I would. I think it tastes pretty good. Anyway, will you be buying this product now after you've seen me try it? Let me know down below. If you like these reviews, remember to show them some thumb and love. If you want to see more, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time I review something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the reviews are